Hello Felix, you ask me to uh, explain to people how the, uh, the Cuban revolution came about. And uh, it is actually very simple to explain. Uh, if you um, analyze the, uh, the data, you know, what, what really happens, uh, the, the fastest that I can explain it, and, and simply, and simply, you know, that I can explain it, is, uh, is my own uh, personal experiences and my family experience. Uh, my grandfather uh, uh, was born in the uh, 1880s. Uh, 1880s uh, Spain, Cuba, Spain. Uh, this this is uh, my uh, my father's side uh, because from my mother's side they arrived in the American continent uh, in in uh, 1902 I think it was well it's a discrepancy on that my aunt say 1912 and my mother say uh, 1902 so we not really for sure uh, when our family on my mother's side side arrived. But I did calculate the uh, internal, the, the reality the, by the age is uh, 1902. And I'm, I'm looking for the ship, the, uh, the arrival of the ship that they came, came over from, the, uh, from Spain. Uh, so, as you see, it's, it's no, the, the Cuban Revolution in 1959 is something that started way way before way before uh, 1959 and and if, if you if you really put the data up there it did not happen in the island of Cuba believe it or not it did not happen because the the people of the island it happened because all the outside influences in the island and that is the reason that we have the same problem right now. It's not, the problem is not the Cubans on the islands, on the island of Cuba. The problem is everybody else outside the island of Cuba influencing what is happening in that island because they terrify of the Cubans to, to, to be like Japan or to be like uh, a, a European nation. Uh, to be advanced, uh, they they are terrified, and the reason is exactly that. There is no such thing as a Cuban. The 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 data say the the Cuban Revolution by Fidel Castro, Che Guevara, Camilo Cienfuegos, Raúl Castro, and the rest of them was organized in. The United States of Mexico or United States Mexicanos. They are Mexicans. They were in Mexico for various reasons, but they were in Mexico uh, from Argentina, from all over the place. They were in Mexico. Uh, they came over Cuba. They invaded Cuba with the yacht named Granma. Granma. Uh, it's a it's a it's a, a bad English, you know. They say grandmother, grandma, you know, grandma. So they the name of the ship was Grandma, you know. So as you see, it's it's not about Cuba. What is happening right now is not about Cuba. What happened 500 years ago was not about Cuba. It was about Europe. The English invading the island. Uh, the Dutch trying to invade the island. Uh, I mean, it's like crazy. So, so that is, in a nutshell, what happens. The Cuban Revolution did not happen because the Cubans. The Cuban Revolution happened because every other influence from outside the, the, the island, the United States of America invading the island in uh, 18, 1898, Taking away the uh, the power of this of the kingdom of Spain over the Cubans, and after that, imposing uh, a, a United States of America government, literally no figurative. They 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 actually 
uh, uh, allow the Navy to run the island. And the last one, I think, was uh, McGee, uh, Charles Edward McGee. The, I have the player to visit his uh, burial site in um, in uh, uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, you can go out there today and see him, you know, in the Lincoln, Nebraska. He is buried out there, the last uh, United States of America uh, appointed governor of the uh, the island of Cuba. So, so today we are in the same situation. The Russians no one, the U.S. in there. The U.S. no one, the Spaniards in there. The Spaniards no one, the U.S. in there. And the Spaniards really no one, the Cubans in Spain. Uh, it's like crazy. And it's all about humans, humans trying to to, to control their own population. And that is the key. They fear. Humans are very fearful. Uh, from the Battle of the Lepanto, way back in the days, 400, 500, 600 years ago, uh, to today, you know, hum humans have a, a crazy, crazy uh, uh, things, you know, in their heads, you know. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's amazing how humanity works. Because what what make us strong is what destroy us. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like I cannot never understand it. Uh, and, and Cuba is a typical example of that. What make the Cubans advance civilizations since the beginning is what destroy us. Is the division that we have. The Cubans are Germans. The Cubans are Africans. The Cubans are French, the Cubans are English, the Cubans are Germans from Dutch land. Remember, the Hitler called himself a Dutch man, <laughs> called his country Dutch land. And people are so confused, they, they have no idea, they, they try to, uh, to protect this uh, crazy identity that they have created in their head. And that is what the revolution is all about. Is to protect, to protect not the Cubans, but to protect themselves. The United States of America is actually protecting themselves. That is why they would not invade Cuba right now, because they are terrified of 11 million Cubans in the United States of America with a sense of identity like no other, knowing that they created the United States of America, knowing that they created a planet, knowing that they fought the Turks, knowing that they uh, conquered uh, the native of the American continent and, and brought them from the Stone Age to today, to, 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 to traveling in space. The Cubans know that. The Cubans, they know they are the American continent because they are. Castro did not start the revolution in Cuba. He started the revolution in Mexico. <laughs> it's simple as that. Uh, and the heroes of the, no, yes, the, the, the Castro revolution, but every other movement in the island of Cuba are not from Cuba. Our heroes are from Puerto Rico. Our heroes in Cuba are from Spain. Our heroes in Cuba are from the United States of America. Our heroes in Cuba are from Venezuela, Colombia. They are from all over the place, especially the Argentines. Uh, my best friend uh, uh, in, in high school, uh, El Moro, and um, uh, Alejandro Moll, uh, Alejandro Moll from Argentina. Uh, uh, these people in Cuba, they are they are Catalans, Aragonese. They are Christians. They are Jews. It doesn't matter. They all they're representing the world. They're from Africa. They're from the Middle East. They're from everywhere. And they call themselves Cuba. Sometimes it's amazing that the, the, the that you see a biology in Cuba and you automatically 
because you are conditioned, you think, oh, he's a Taino Indian, a Taino Indian, or a Caribe Indian, or a Aokai Indian, or, or somebody from the Middle East. But when you go and, and uh, 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 do a little research by names and whatever and family, hey, wait a minute, they're gypsies from France, <laughs> you know, with names like Savoy and Laboy. And, 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 and that is what the revolution is about. It's not about Cuba. It's about the world. It's about the world. So make sure you guys up there understand that. How, how simple is actually the explanation of the Cuban revolution is an attempt to destabilize the island. It's an attempt to keep the island, the French Chassai, I mean, like the island, they're the, 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 the trying to keep that island destabilized completely. And every time somebody try to, uh, to advance it, to advance the, the, the population, you know, it's been destroyed, you know, it's been destroyed. So it is that simple, it is, the revolutions in Cuba, no yes, like the Castro revolution, but the uh, the the ten year war, uh, the little war, and Jose Marti, and all these people, all these so called revolutionaries and freedom fighters and whatever, they're from the United States of America, Mexico, they're from Spain, they're from Puerto Rico, they're from everywhere but Cuba. It is the, it is that simple. And right now there is more Cubans outside the Cuba on the island with more influence than, than ever on the planet. And we still still fighting the same old fight. It's, it's only one way to fix it. And, and the only way to fix it, uh, uh, Felix, uh, uh, is w what I told you before is that we must have a campaign, a campaign of unity of the people of the planet. We have to stop convincing ourselves that it is an advantage for humanity to continue to be doing what we have been doing since God created the planet. We cannot continue to fight for a little piece of land and condition the population to become something that they're not. We, we must stop lying to people, changing their identities, confusing them, giving them letters and numbers so they can attach themselves to that. Uh, we need to, to resolve the institutions that we're creating to tax people, the use of sex to taxation. Uh, all these crazy things, we must get away from it and unite the planet as one species that we are. That is what we are. We are one species, a single one, single one. So there you have it. That is the best I can do. Uh, the revolution uh, is not an internal revolution. Revolution is an outside, uh, outside force. In Cuba, help, help those people, help those people in the island by by helping ourselves to change the planet. That is the only way that I see a solution. Helping to tell the people in the United States of America, the people of Europe, the people of China, the people of Russia, the people of Africa, the people from the American continent tell them, hey, the Cubans are you. They are you. If they fail, we all fail. Saludos. Hopefully this help you understand what is happening there.